Hi, we're still looking at exponent laws. Now we're looking at what happens if you divide two numbers. So let's say you had something like 3 to the a over 3 to the b. Remember, they have to be the same base, the same number here. So this was 3 over 4, you wouldn't be able to do it. Again, you'd have that really nice, simple question of, I'm done, but wouldn't really help you much. What do we do in this case, though, is we simply subtract the exponents. If we knew what a and b were, we subtract them and figure out 3 to the power of what. So that's the rule we're going to apply to all these cases. And now, remember, the base doesn't actually matter. The rule applies no matter what the base is, as long as it's the same base for both. So I can have something like, I don't know, 99 to the power of 9. And 99 to the power of 4. Well, again, we subtract them. So 99 to the power of 9 minus 4, or in other words, 99 to the 5. Great. Well, what if there's two numbers on the bottom? Uh, let's go with 4 to the 8 over 4 to the 3 and 4 to the 2. Well, again, what we're going to do is 4 to the 8 minus 3 minus 2. Both are, being, both are dividing the top one, so we subtract both. This would be 4 to the 3. But we could also look at this and have said, wait a minute, we just looked at the multiplication rule. So I'm going to rewrite this one for a second. So we've got 4 to the 8 over 4 to the 3 and 4 to the 2. Well, when, if we want to, we could multiply these together. So we could write this as 4 to the 8, or the ugly 8, but it's 8, and 4 to the 3 plus 2. Or 4 to the 8 over 4 to the 5. Oh, and once again, 48 minus 5 is equal to 4 to the 3. Two different ways of doing the same thing. The rules must make it all come out to the same. But, what if we start introducing negatives? Well, 4 to the, I don't know, let's call it 12. Over 4 to the negative 3. Hmm. Again, there's going to be two different ways we can look at doing this one. Just using a simple division rule, well, I have to subtract. Well, but I'm subtracting minus 3. So we think that actually becomes 4 to the 12 plus 3, or 4 to the 15. But if we also go back and look at the video where we looked at what a negative means, it's the same as flipping it. So I could also have written this same thing, 4 to the 12 over 4 to the minus 3, is the same as writing 4 to the 12 and flip this to the top and make a positive exponent. And now we're using our multiplication rules, which we're going to see jumps to this line right here. Again, no matter how we end up doing this, we've got to get to the same result. So two different ways of looking at it, but the negative doesn't matter. If we had a negative on top, it still would do the same thing. It's just how we divide these exponent laws. This is really what you got to keep in mind.